Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to another live stream with Oxygen Not Included. It's Monday night, which is not exactly our normal night for this, uh, but I thought we would bump Oxygen Not Included a day earlier and play today, uh, since the uh, the up the um, uh, release of Anno 1800 is coming out tomorrow, and I really wanted to play that. I didn't get a chance to play it again on the beta weekend, uh, so I thought I would just shuffle things around a little bit, have a little Oxygen Not Included tonight. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, this is our colony, the Infinite Vomit, uh, that we've been playing with. And as you can see, we have one or two shine bugs helping to keep things sort of glowy in here. It's almost Christmassy. If we could almost get some, like, mixing colors in here, like some reds and greens and stuff, we could almost have, like, a fancy Christmas colony. Uh, sadly, the, uh, the, sh the shine bugs that are actually different types don't actually shine a different colored light. They just have different colored bodies. But this is our colony. Uh, and it's going for fairly well, I think, so far. I mean, we have a good amount of food and stuff. Um, I'd kind of like to do something with all these shine bugs today. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to tackle with it just yet, uh, but I think it might be handy to see if we can get some glass production and then see if maybe we can put a, a uh, put a glass floor in with some like solar power or something and try to put some of these bugs to good use because there's just so many of them, so many. Uh, we can also make omelets and stuff too, which of course will use up some of the eggs, but it takes quite a few shine bug eggs to make an omelet. Not that we don't have extras. Uh, but hopefully this will be a good night tonight. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll get away without killing off any duplicates, or at least too many duplicates. I wouldn't want to disappoint you by not having any duplicate deaths, because I feel like that's why people are here sometimes. They're here for the train wreck. <laughs> I can't help looking away. And it looks like they're changing up some art too, so they have some new temp art for the medical chairs. Or I guess these were these were previously the uh, well this is where are we here sick bay I guess they just call this sick bay now specialist specialist operated building sufficient resources intermediate cure times one so these are kind of a new look uh, that's sort of interesting I kind of hope the duplicates when they come up will even wash their hands and stuff that'd be really neat uh, I'm not sure exactly what the deal is going to be with those but they're basically replacing the uh, uh, the med pod things with those. So we used to have like that uh, pharma chamber or whatever, and now we have the sick bay. So it's sort of changing it up a little bit. Flood the base with hydrogen and chlorine. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I guess that would give us Christmas colors. Got all the shine bugs flying around in it. That'd be neat. With quality of life three, I've heard that grooming stations don't work outside of a stable anymore. Um, yeah, that's a really good question. I have one here, um, and we use this definitely, but. Because we're in the beta branch, uh, it's possible they made changes. I mean, I can see that since the last time we streamed, they've changed up some art. Uh, I think they actually changed some some uh, some germs and stuff too. So now we have zombie spores, floral scents. I guess that's for allergies or whatever. Slime lung, food poisoning. So there's some other stuff there, of course, in the uh, in the germ central place. Uh, they also have some missing missing string, some sort of a disease thing here. I don't know if that's just supposed to be like a title overlay or it's actually going to be something, but. Maybe it's just supposed to mean like the actual source of the germs or what have you. But so that's changing a little bit. I'm really curious to see what the deal is with these zombie spores. Select an infected object. Um, the trouble is, I don't know where to find zombie spores. I wonder if they come from outer space. Like, do we have to bring zombie spores back from outer space? Are they even in the game yet? Did they just have this set up here because there's an intention to have these in place? Oh, wait a minute. Those are zombie spores. No, those are floral scents. Never mind. That's coming off of a plant. Those are pink. Uh, I don't see any purpley ones here. That might be the zombie spores. I didn't read the patch notes. I probably should have. <laughs> I might have been a little bit more prepared for the stream tonight. But there are a few changes there anyway. So a couple things have kind of changed since the last time we streamed. Richard with the super chat. Thanks, Richard. Appreciate the super chat. Thank you for the support. If I recall, the spores are from a flower called Sporkid. Is that what this is? No, it was, it was hanging around the buddy bud. Pretty sure it's like any, pretty much any flowering plant I think will have them. You can see them drifting around here by the buddy bud. So I guess where it used to be you just grab the plants and plant them. Now we have to worry about floral spores. That's that's an interesting thing. I hope they have any histamine. So let's check out the inside the apothecary. We have basic booster, intermediate booster, basic cure, allergy medication. Intermediate cure, advanced cure. So we have a lot more medicine options in here now. Uh, gives a germ-based disease, cure allergic reactions. Doctor administer cure for severe ailments. So I guess there's some here that you actually have to have a doctor all set up for. That's kind of cool. Missed one stream, now there's an army of shine bugs. That's right. <laughs> Zara with the super chat. Thanks, Zara. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Uh, what are we? What was it alert for?
I have no idea what that alert was for. I didn't see anything pop up. That's wacky. So we still have our little coffin space down here with Benjamin Brown in it. He's kind of hanging out and keeping his company. <laughs> I want to see the zombie spores take over Benjamin Brown and see if he can wander around a little bit, but I, I kind of doubt it's going to be that cool. Uh, okay, so here's our shine bug predicament today. Um, in terms of research, we've been making good progress, so we might even have solar... No, we don't have solar power unlocked. I'm going to go after solar power today if I don't have it already. Uh, renewable energy. There's our solar panel. So let's go get after that. Uh, we also need just to make glass and stuff if I'm going to make use of that. Still snow with the super chat. Shine bugs for days. Sovereign Prax with the super chat as well. Another cryptic fox. Hey, Sovereign Prax. Thank you both for the super chat. I appreciate the support. Um, there should be like a... Oh, what's this? Automatic dispenser. There's no picture for that one. That's interesting. Conveyor or dropper. So there's some new conveyor stuff here that we can play around with. It's in, uh, in the Mark III. Glass Forge is also what we need to get here. So we're going to go with the renewable energy first. We'll get them researching that. Uh, in the meantime, let's crack some eggs. Because honestly, we have uh, we have kind of too many. I don't know how many there are, but... We're about to find out. Uh, Eggshells. Critter eggs. Shine bug nymph eggs. Nope, you know what? I just told them to break too many. I told them to break 20. That's too many. Let's maybe dial that back a little bit. The thing with the shine bugs is they have a very short lifespan, so they can go for a little while and then they'll suddenly croak. So be like, oh, sporkin seed. This plant improves decor, but also produces zombie spores in abundance. I really want to know what the zombie spores are all about. So that's what you meant by the spore kit. It was the plant that produces the zombie spores. I get it. How did the business trip go? It was good. Uh, we had a meeting with a client. I was actually in Jersey City. Uh, our boardroom has a fantastic view of, uh, of Manhattan from there. So I got some good pictures of that. Uh, let's see. Catalina, Harold, or Meep? Slow learner. Wow, plus nine strength. That's pretty sweet. You carry a lot of stuff around. Bottomless of stomach, though. So they're going to eat a lot, but carry a lot, too. I think I'm going to go with Catalina. I kind of like the idea of running around and carrying like ridiculous amounts of stuff. That's pretty sweet. Uh, this one, I think, would be Zara Zedekus. Any relation to Zedekus Zelzerander? No, thought not. <laughs> Remember, Benji Brown, his death was a tragedy. <laughs> they just threw him down the ladder, no less. They couldn't even be bothered putting him in a gravestone. They just kicked him off the side of the platform and let him plunge down into the bottom. So as long as he was down there, we just sort of sealed him in. I figured that was a good thing to do. Oh, we have uh, a couple different bugs here. So we have a royal bug. Uh, somewhere here we have... I saw an orangey one. There's a, there's a sort of a random chance that you'll get different types of bugs. You can increase the odds of getting them if you feed them different types of foods, but... Uh, I, thought, I saw an orange one at some point, but it's so hard to see them amongst all this glowiness. Oh, wait, up here. This one here. Ah, hold still. That's a sun nymph right there. That's pretty cool. You require entertainment. Well, welcome, Durgan. <laughs> Flowers now have a buff called Floral Sense. Good for morale, bad for allergic dupes. Zombie spores might be a new plant that you don't have to... Don't have to have when you made the call. I don't know. I don't know. We have to sit and try to figure it out. Did I hatch the sixers yet? I don't think so. We have them down here. Uh, sitting right here on the ground. They're at 47% for incubation, though. So we got a little, way to, little ways to wait yet for those. I'm not in a super big rush. When we start getting that, we'll start to get some oil and things. But uh, my first step, I think, is going to be to try to make glass. And we'll try to do something useful with our shine bugs. Um... I kind of wish I had plastic so we could build a lure. Try to lure the shine bugs in, but I guess we'll have to just try to catch them when they come in to feed or something. Oh, the shine bugs multiply. <laughs> yeah, they really... Uh, as soon as you feed them and start to and start to uh, groom them, they, they definitely reproduce quickly. And you can see they produce some really nice decor, too. I don't even have to decorate. We just basically have these things flying around everywhere. Everybody's in good shape. We have one sick duplicate. Who's the sick one? Is it Dokugan? I don't know. I can't tell. I thought it would... Oh, we have three sick dupes now. Oh, food poisoning. So, uh, Cassandra's got food poisoning. Alexis has slime lung. And Brandon has slime lung, too. But that's okay. They don't really seem to get injured too much. Okay, so this needs intermediate cure. I think we should make some of that. That's a booster. Intermediate cure. We need bomb lily flowers. We need phosphorite. Bomb lily flowers I don't have, so I can't make the cure. That's going to cause some challenges, I think. Has anyone heard of a game called Baba Is You? Nope. Can't say that I have. Uh, there's some of the bomb lily out there. Man, there's a huge pocket of metal ore down here, too. 
I think I want to dig my way over here. Uh, I'm not really thrilled about letting the heat in and stuff, though, because... Oops, that was the wrong overlay. <laughs> it is pretty warm over here. Uh, we're letting CO2 in for these, these guys down here, but... I would prefer not to leave this open if I could avoid it. I think we're gonna put a we'll put a door on here and I'll find a way to like just pump the pump the CO2 in there or something. I kinda wanna keep this sealed off so that we try to trap some of the heat out of the colony. Uh, and in the meantime, we'll send a little duplicate ex exploration foray over here. Get some of this bomb really. We're gonna need that for curing. It's gonna let some chlorine out too though, so I I'm gonna put a door in here also. Or actually, you know what? Let's do this a little differently. I'm gonna I'm gonna plan to actually I'll make a little airlock here in the middle. Um I'll go like this. There we go. Okay, so that will let us uh dig this out here. We'll get this out. Okay, so we'll have a couple bomb lilies that we can harvest if we come all the way out here now. I don't know what else this will be. We'll put the whole thing for harvest. Whatever. See what they can do anyway. So at least that way they can go there and get the bomb release. Um, we'll get a little pocket of CO2 trapped in here and that will stop, uh, stop all the nastiness from coming through here too. Bobby's using an outside the box puzzle game. You can change the rules of the game as you go to solve things. I'll get to you later. Oh, okay, cool. The alert's suffocating. Check your CO2. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll check my oxygen. I mean, oxygen level's not bad. If anyone was suffering from CO2, it might have been from people hanging out down here. So we probably should start to set up a scrubbing system. Um, we can actually hook it up to this water pump, so that'll be relatively easy. Did we ever get the power system set up up here? No, because I needed a smart battery. That's why I was, that's what I was holding on to up here. Okay, so we need uh, we need a smart battery up top here. We do not yet have enough refined metals, so let's make some of those. Uh, gold amalgam, I have 800. Eh, you know what? Let's make this iron. Copper ore. Iron ore to iron. I'm going to go punch the button a bunch of times. Give me some of this. I've been a fan for at least two years. Thanks, Brandon. I'm glad you enjoy the channel. Who is your insurance and primary physician? They almost need an insurance salesman in this game. <laughs> Is that like a little guy walking around with a little hat and a briefcase? Oh, you make the best videos for me to learn the uh, learn the game. Please continue to play the game. Thanks, Quinn. I'm glad you enjoy them. Unrefrigerated food. Oh, you know what? Do we still have that food storage container there in the middle of the colony? We do. This needs to go. Deconstruct this thing. We're wasting. It's pure waste. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my uh, my solar panels too. I'm thinking maybe like on this floor. If we move the grooming station. Maybe we can put a couple solar panels in here. We'll put some glass above it. Once we get to the point of actually being able to make them. So, the solar panels... No, I don't, I don't have those unlocked yet. They're still working on it. Still researching. Missed the RimWorld episode. Yeah, that was sort of a... Uh, that was a random one. <laughs> Last night I was planning to play eight, Nano 1800. And then when I went to play it, I found out the uh, the open data had ended. And I gotta wait till Tuesday to play it again. So, we're gonna play that tomorrow. Tonight we're going to play some Oxygen Included, and then last night, of course, we played RimWorld. Uh, and based on the level of interest, I might play some more RimWorld. And a bunch of people have been asking for it over the years. It's not something I played a ton of. I only played a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure why. I think I was just focused on playing other things. So I think it might be fun to jump in and play some more of that, too. Assuming I can carve out the time for it. What am I playing CMS 18 again? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I kind of keep an eye out every now and then for a car that I feel like I might want to build, or a new update kind of thing. Um, but there's not just there's just not that much coming out for it at the moment. Plant some mirth leaf, and up here we'll also get uh, some briar seed. Oops, I failed to plant that one. There we go. Yeah, yeah the the bears uh, the bear yeah it was one bear, and a rabid rat <laughs> it made a big a bit of a mess of my colony. <laughs> Let's just say it did not end in what most people would call a positive outcome. I think that's probably a relatively fair assessment anyway. So there's a little bomb lily here too. I kind of want to grab this stuff. Why did I make the door there? I think it was because I was going to dig into this space. But if I dig into that, it will deplete the chlorine that's in here a bit. Actually, nope. 
the bleedstone will off gas, and that should refill it a little bit. Okay, let's um, let's dig our way into here. I think it'll be handy to have some medicines around because we really don't have anything at all right now. Uh, and I probably should also capture some of this yummy algae that's up here. Also, give me all this, give me all that jazz. Uh, we are going to need a ladder in here. We're going to have an issue with Drekos climbing everywhere, but that's okay. We'll set all this stuff on harvest. Actually, this is a plus because we'll start to get some pinch pepper nuts too. Not that they like the chlorine very much. For those shine bugs, if you consider bristle berries, yeah, the, the trick is with bristle berries, I need a good source of water because they do consume water. So I still have water down here at the bottom that we started the colony with. Um, but we don't have a good source to get an alternate supply of it yet until we can uncover a geyser. Now, up top here, we did find something. I don't know what it is, but it's a something. And there's actually a bunch of slime here with no germs around it. So I have, I'm kind of feeling it, it might be really hot, but we're about to find out. Um, so this is a this is actually a, a win in a couple of fronts. We can get some slime without getting germs. Uh, we can uncover... Well, actually, we can get some gold amalgam here a little bit. Uh, we can uncover this geyser and find out what that is. And with any luck, it might even be a water source, which would be fantastic, because it's like just above our colony. Even though it's maybe a little on the hot side. Uh, wires are all hooked up. I just need... Uh, I need battery. Let's plan to build a ladder straight up here. To get towards this fanciness up here. But I'm also going to build... Um, uh, a little platform up top here. Or we can put our smart battery. I think I actually might take three tiles. We'll put a smart battery up top here. This will make it relatively easy to reach, um, uh, with some automation wire and not have to do a whole lot. This is not powered. That might explain why nobody's making any metal. <laughs> Let's just turn one of these on. Hey, we're building. Uh, do we have any... Ooh, we can make an auto sweeper as soon as we get some refined metal too, and like we use we can set that up to just automatically fill in our power generators will be great. First time catching a stream, love the content. Welcome, John. Glad you're able to make it. Well, it's definitely a gas geyser of some sort, but it could be a variety of things, right? Like it could be uh it could be natural gas, it could be a cool steam vent, it could be a chlorine geyser, which would be really awful, because they have no use for those really. Totally missed the live where my dudes built the floor with their head, but got the replay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's always one duplicate sealing their head in the floor. I don't know what the deal is exactly. Somebody suggested I uh, should make a uh, like a merch item or a shirt or whatever with uh, with a duplicate sealing their head in the floor. <laughs> Somehow it does seem kind of appropriate. Yeah, the exosuits are for going in the nastiness, but I don't have any built just yet. I'm kind of, I'm kind of working my way up to those. Um, we'll probably put exosuits around, I don't know, somewhere up here. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to kind of just seal stuff off a little bit. Now, i got all this chlorine in here, and I actually... I've let chlorine gas in now because I'm not too swift. I should have put a different door here. I'm trying to limit the, limit the exposure with the chlorine anyway. Um... I don't know if I'm going to bother powering those or anything, but... Where are you going? Where'd all the shine bugs come from? Well, we started with just a couple in the colony. And then uh, we set up a grooming station. And we set up a phosphorus feeder for them. And they were fruitful and multiplied. A lot. Now, we're on cycle 54. And I think we started grooming them around cycle 5 or 6. And then they just started reproducing. So we've got shine bugs galore. I wonder if there's a point at which it'll get so bright that duplicates won't be happy about it. I, I don't think so, unless it's like show like sunshine, but... A fox dude with his head on the floor, you say? Yeah, pretty much that. <laughs> pretty much that, and then say like mistakes were made or something on it. Uh, okay, we can bring in another duplicate. Uh, we're at 16 so far. What do we got? Dreglet eggs. Ooh, slickster larva. Can I trap, though? I think I actually have to have plastic to make a trap for that. So I'm not going to let him loose, because he'll run around inside my colony and start pooping out oil everywhere, and that'll be kind of a nuisance. So we're going to pass on the Slickster for now. We're, we're hatching three anyway. I think we're going to grab Abe. He's squeamish, so he won't do any care, but he's got Diver Lungs and Grease Monkey, so that's a good set of traits. I think we're going to grab Abe. Uh, and this can be still snow. 
Welcome to the colony, still snow. <laughs> Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. <laughs> Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Dupes have the same will to live as I did when suffering the major depression disorder. <laughs> what? Well, they just, you know what? They, they want to live. They just, they're not entirely sure how. <laughs> Uh, solar panel. I want to see how big this thing is. I can't choose it, though, because I don't have enough materials. Um, I can't remember how many blocks high it is. I know it's really wide, and I think it might be three blocks high. But based on that, would certainly impact where I might place it. Hey, Scott, how you doing? Those aren't shine bugs. They're hairless dribbles. That's right. <laughs> they multiply like dribbles, anyway. The trouble with dribbles. These actually serve a purpose, though. We can do something with them. Mostly in the form of making omelets. Uh, how are we doing for shine bug eggs now? Shine nymph eggs, we still have 10 of them. So I'm going to hold on to what I have there. There's 10 there, we'll just let those ones hatch. We'll get more, 10 more shine bugs flying around. We need to get a good cycle of like repetition going on them, because if I... As some of them die off, we want to make sure we continue to have more laying. Completely unrelated question. What dimension do shirts typically use for pick? Uh, I don't remember, to be honest with you, Durgan. Normally, I, uh, I just... I, I try to make a... Like a high resolution image and then make and then I can resize it on the shirt. So it sort of depends. Probably need hundreds of shine bugs for the full 380 watts. Potentially. Yeah, so I mean like when we look at the light overlay, you can see they provide quite a bit of light, but it's not like you're getting full sunshine levels. So they're like nineteen thousand lux. Uh and the solar panel. Yeah, I can't remember how what it actually requires to be fully fully powered up but these don't they don't provide enough power to 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 give you a lot it's just that it's free so if you can get like a solar panel or two underneath them then you're getting little bits of power out of them that you don't have to do anything to require so it's like completely free power so that's not that's not too hard to take really um do we have i still don't have enough metals what's going on here who's who's doing the smashy thing nobody's punching this thing let's up the priority on that a tiny bit I'm gonna go punch that thing. I should have people in an operating job. Uh, Shadow Larar. Uh, can I reorganize these in a way that I can actually see him? <laughs> nope, not exactly. Uh, go the other way. There we go. Shadow Larar. There we go. Okay, so athletics four, creativity three. Okay, let's put him on an operating job. So we'll do. Grab this. He can do improved tinkering. We'll get you operating some stuff here. Hopefully go operate the punch button. That would be handy. And then we need... Brandon needs a job here also. Brandon is digging five. Uh, strength two. All right, we'll put, we'll put Brandon in a digging job, I guess. We'll give him some, some hard hat skills. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I picked the hat. There we go. Improved tinkering. Oh, we still have Still Snow and Z Zara. Let's go the other way. Okay, so... Um, we're going to put... Well, actually, she doesn't have any skill points. We can't do anything with her just yet. And same thing with Still Snow. They're uh, they're too new. I've got to earn a little experience before we can do anything with them. Brandon the Builder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, shine bugs lower their emissions if they're crowded or unhappy. So it's a question of how many that you can fit in the space. So because their happiness is dependent on the, the quantity they're in space. Some of these are glum. So we probably could do with killing some of them off. Show a whole bunch of them are clone. We have an awful lot of shine bugs. They're not crammed into a tiny little space, but there's so many of them now that even with all the room for them to fly around, it's not exactly ideal for them. Let's get the glass smelter, wherever that is. Environmental protection. Micro targeted machine disease clinic. Obviously, they haven't changed the artwork here. Oh, actually, no, this over here, the sick bay is the other one. So, did the med beds change into the sick bay? And then we have the disease clinic is the other machine. I thought there was still a bed in there. Huh. All right. Well, let's go with uh, Glass Forge over here. I want to make some glass. Yeah, there is still a, a triage cot. So we have a triage cot, sick bays, and then we have the other fancy machines. I think it says the solar panel must be in space. Oh, if so, that really sucks. Must be exposed to space. You're right. It does. Ah. Oh. All right. Well, so much for that plan. We need to do the research anyway, but apparently we're not going to be doing that. Um, 
All right, so the new steam turbine, though. Liquid output pipe, electrical engineer. Temperature 1,000 degrees Celsius at overheat. Auto inputs, enable, disable. So we'll have to, I actually need to do some experimenting with the new, uh, the new steam power generator. They apparently made it easier to use, which is good. Because uh, it used to be you had to really jump through hoops in order to get the thing to work. I think they solved for that. What's going on with the oxygen levels here? Starvation? Who is starving? Are you starving? Starving? Why are you starving? What's going on here? 980 kilocalories. I mean, it's not like you don't have food available. I don't know what your problem is, but go eat or something. Stop being a slacker. Uh, we also need to get to the point of actually producing some alternate oxygen sources, too, because I think so far I've just been using oxygen diffusers, which is not ideal, particularly when we start to get a large colony going on. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go down here and we'll set up... Uh, no, I want refinement. We're going to set up a water sieve down here. We can start to clean up some CO2. Put our carbon skimmer over here. Throw a little little water loop here. Uh, this is going to go out and in. Like so. We'll feed that over here. Get that all built up. Uh, we'll take this. Perfect. What's with all the shine bugs? Uh, we, they kind of started reproducing a bit. And they, uh, they get kind of prolific. <laughs> Why so many shine bucks? We just sort of... I, I, I set up a grooming station here for them, and I set up a place for them to eat. And then we just left them alone, and we got busy doing our other things. And uh, this is what we ended up with. But, I mean, they're good for decor. You know, they've, they've done some really nice things for the decor in the colony. <laughs> if we can get a good water source, then we can swap out to, uh, to some other plants for food and stuff. And then we can also... Um, well, we can still eat omelets, I guess. <laughs> just copying your base of the shine bugs? Yeah, I mean, they just go like crazy. I mean, well, we don't really need to murder them. We, we can, as we start to, I've been cracking some of the eggs, and as we take out the eggs, our, our population density will go down. So we have uh, seven shine nymph eggs. As I crack those, I have five of those, there's not gonna be that many left hatching. You know what, I should actually just crack all seven. Oops. We'll let uh, we'll let the population dip a tiny bit. With the shine bugs, you don't need light. No, definitely not. So I mean, if we could get um, get some other plants growing in here that actually require light, that might be worthwhile. Yeah, just steal the babies. <laughs> and they're not babies until they hatch. Before then, they're just vast quantities of unhatched shine bug embryos. Mmm, delicious shine bug embryos. Aww. It's a shame the solar panel needs to be exposed to space. I was kind of looking forward to trying to get the shine bugs to do a little work for us, but apparently they're just going to be food. <laughs> I thought I thought they were going to serve a dual purpose. I thought we were going to get power off of them and food, but nope, they're just food now. Don't look too closely at the screen. There's too many shine bugs. Skill points earned. Cerberus Bloodmore with a super chat. Ignore that tooltip. Uh, it should have been optimally be built in space. It just needs some light from the uh, for the panel to work. Oh, all right. Well, we'll try it. I mean, there's really no harm in trying it, right? Let's get this thing unplugged out of here. We can start this. I don't need that so much. Oh, we should have a little bit of uh, yeah, a little bit of the fancy materials now. Where's my smart battery? There it is. Plug a smart battery in here. Uh, we do need some fancy automation automationable wires. Not that we have a lot, but... Alright, so we'll get that going by automation. So it wasn't reworked? I don't know, I guess we're gonna test it out and see. I mean, we have lots of shine bugs, so why not? We're not, we're not getting a lot of power out of it, don't, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not expecting this to be the end, like, the solution to all of life's problems or anything where power is concerned. But it can't hurt. 
I'm just not sure exactly where I should put it. I mean, we have our grooming station here. I can move up that up a floor. If I convert this floor into largely glass, then we can put our solar panels right below it, maybe? I'm not sure if they if it gets the benefit of them flying around it. They can fly in front of the building, so that might work even. We'll try it out. Warning, stream contains bright lights that may cause seizures. Viewer discretion is advised. That's flashing lights, Durgan. These ones aren't flashing too much. <laughs> They're just sort of bouncing around. Mostly bouncing. Okay, so um, we have 10 sick duplicants. Oh boy. Slime lung, slime lung, slime lung, slime lung, slime lung. Slime. Okay, we gotta start curing some people. Okay, we can make intermediate cures. Uh, let's make those forever. Uh, because we're gonna need them. I wanna see if there's actually an animation associated with this. So are they gonna like, wash their hands and then sit in the chair? Or do they just sit in the chair? What's the deal there? So it's not a baby, not a baby either, because it's still the mother. Uh, no. <laughs> the shine bug, shine bug eggs are much closer to saying, like, the mother's egg before it's been fertilized. It's kind of that thing. It has potential, but it's not on its way yet. So it's still fine. Okay, let's dig this out. Uh, we have all this. Oh, you know what? I'm going to cancel this because I don't want them to actually start building it. Uh, we'll just dig in here. We'll find out what's what's going on with that thing. Uh, I have a storage container down here for slime, I think. What do I have in here? Yeah. So we have a storage container. What the? Okay. I don't know where all that water came from. But it's too much for me to actually do anything with. Okay. That's a problem. Just, uh, is there germs in this water? What's the deal here? No, nope, it's fine. All right, we'll deconstruct this. We'll let it drain out. At least I thought I would. That's better. Richard for the super chat. Is your storage full? Guess I'm a bad doctor. <laughs> uh, the storage is definitely full, yes. We're gonna need more storage space. Uh, this probably is gonna be a likely spot up here, actually. We have room up here. At some point, I should probably build, like, a, a designed storage area that's going to have some automation and stuff to it. Uh, I'm not super worried about it right now, so we'll just give them space to put some stuff. And that will do. Insufficient oxygen generation. Uh, why is it going so slowly? I have algae. Turn these things... Let's turn the delivery up on these things if I haven't already. Oxygen's kind of important. The ice melted. Oh, is that all it was? I'm gonna put, uh, you know what? I wanna put a mesh tile there, but I also, I built this thing specifically for the purpose of not letting nastiness flood in. Did I, did I stop doing this? I think I did. Water came for the melted ice. Yeah, I guess it was just sitting there for so long. I wasn't really expecting it to just suddenly melt that way, and I suppose I should have. Where'd the body come from? Uh, this is Benjamin Brown. Uh, he was one, he was the first duplicate that died. Uh, the duplicates kicked him off the landing up top and just let him drop down the ladder. So where he landed, we decided to just encase him there as an homage to poor Benjamin, who was the first casualty of this uh, this poor colony. It's enough with the suffocating already. Jeez, guys. Go do some breathing or something. I do need to get a good source of water so I can set up some better oxygen production. What I've got right now just isn't going to hack it long term. Grimming Station no longer works outside of Valid Stable, according to the recent update. Alright. I guess they wanted to stop the, uh, the manipulation of things. She's a blueprint. Man, I feel like the duplicates are coming in faster than normal. Uh, small bladder, diver's lungs. Those are good traits. Well, I mean, small bladder maybe not so much, but it does produce excess water for us. It's something. Uh, slow learner, yokel, iron gut, loud sleeper, mole hands. I'm gonna go with uh, Bert. I'm gonna take a Bert in here. Uh, and this one I think could be Sovereign Prax. Actually, yeah. Sovereign Prax. Welcome to the colony. Print. All right. So, I mean, it says it's outside of a stable. This building must be built inside a stable for full functionality. I haven't seen whether they've even tried to use the grooming station yet. 
Hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. See, the trouble is, if I put them in a stable, then they're going to be like... Actually, what I can do... Hold on, we can, we can sort of manipulate things a little bit. So in order to make this a stable... What do we need? Barracks, bedroom, stable. Uh, minimum size 12, maximum size 96, and a grooming station. So it doesn't need anything else fancy in there. And it doesn't have any limitations either. So let's destroy this. I only have, you know, I'm, I built this thing just because I wanted to see what it looked like, but I'm going to deconstruct that also. I don't really need it. It's just taking up space. Uh, we're going to do, like, stacking these doors. Like that. Uh, we'll go to stations and grab a grooming station. Doesn't really matter where that goes, I guess. Uh, we should probably build another critter for you here, too. It can't hurt. Shine bug feeder galore. Okay, so when they build all that, then we'll have a stable. And then we can just open up the double doors, and the shine bugs can fly in and out. That way we'll have our stable, basically, but the we don't, we're not still confined by space. Leave the feeder outside so draw shine bugs back outside the stable. Well, I kind of want them... I mean, I don't care if they're in there necessarily. I mean, they're all glum anyway. So they're already producing less light than they normally would have, but... I guess we could do that. I, the thing is that... Like, I want to do... Um, like, I guess... Hold on. Let's, let's deconstruct this. We'll cancel these. Um, and we'll set the doors just, like, one step in here. And then I guess we can move the jobs board down somewhere else. Where did the jobs board go? I guess we can put the jobs board... well... I mean, I can put it on this floor here, but I kind of want to put solar panels in here, so I'm not sure I want to do that. Uh, I'll put the jobs board, like, right in the middle, I guess. Uh, stations. There we go. Skills board. So I guess it's not the jobs board anymore. It's the skills board. got to correct my terminology. Wrangle them all and take the next two streams. <laughs> that would be a lot of wrangling. That is for sure. You know what I think the nice thing about the solar energy is it doesn't produce any heat. It's probably the most beneficial part of it. Okay, let's uh, copy settings and paste that up there so we can store some stuff. Coley, please, with a super chat. I'd like my dupe reanimated at some point, please. <laughs> I make no promises. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate the support. Uh, but normally I try to limit it to uh, one duplicate per person per colony. <laughs> oh my god, there's an inquiring minds command now. That, was there? Inquiring minds want to know. We're gonna spend so much time just fooling around with this. Okay, let's uh let's set this up. So I'm gonna do standby when it gets to uh know, whatever, when it gets to hundred. And we'll have it we'll have it turned back on when it gets to about twenty five or so. Uh we'll enable this building. And did I run into fine refined metal? I might have. No. We're all right. No power. Oh, I see. So there's no power because they... Oh, man. All right, hold on. Where's my automation overlay? They, they have this one little segment here. If they would just do that. But no, they can't. Why would they want to do that? Break this wire and then the power can turn back on. Come on. Actually, I don't need them to now. Oh good, they started the other generator. Perfect. Okay. That'll get us to refined metal. We need to finish that connection, and then that will be automated. That will be good. Yeah, the shine bugs don't need oxygen, so that's a plus. You paid for the body display of the previous two. <laughs> poor Benjamin. Poor, poor, sad Benjamin. Yeah, there's Coley Poo down there. Your fancy headstone. 
Fancy, not so fancy headstone. Uh, Oxygen's just getting in a rough place now. Uh, I was trying to hold off on doing too much with the oxygen because I don't have any cooling set up here. Tell me we found water. Tell me this is water. Save my colony's life. Is oxygen really necessary? Ah, oh, no. It's all optional, really. <laughs> That's why it's not included. It's op it's optional. I think I'm going to need, in the interim, I might need to put another... Um, I'll deconstruct this. Uh, I might need to put another one of these um, the oxidizer things. Oxygen diffuser, whatever they're calling them these days. Uh, I could use the terrariums, but they use up water and stuff. I don't really like doing that too much. So we'll just stick another one here. No, actually, I can't put that there. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I need feeders. Just my food. Critter feeder here. Critter feeder there. Uh, we'll open up these doors. Okay. In our room, Everlay, we have a stable, so then they can do the grooming again. Hopefully they'll get a little happier now. When you get glass, replace the blocks above Benjamin with glass tile. Oh, that's a good idea. So they can they can have a really good look at Benjamin as they're walking over top of him. That's, that doesn't sound gruesome at all. Perfect. <laughs> Be like when they have those uh, those bodies on display. The plasticized bodies that are all cut apart. Good times. Uh, what do I want to go for next? I guess I'll go with um, some more fancy artwork stuff. Artwork and advanced chisel work and things. Not that we necessarily need the decor right now, because the shine bugs are doing such a great job. I think that animals can't fly through doors. They can fly through the doors when they're open. You can see them flying in and out there. Body worlds are plastinated, yeah. Super gross, but also really cool. <laughs> and a very good reason why I should never donate my body to science. Uh, let's deconstruct this. I'm going to set these up for shine bugs. Oh, you know what? I can copy settings before I deconstruct this one. Hooray! That saves so much time. No, not the royal shine bug. Critter feeder. There we go. Deconstruct. Chop that thing down. Let me get rid of this too. I got all kinds of room here now. Okay, and then I think we can put our glass forge over here. It gets pretty hot, but... I'm trying to put like a... Try to seal it off a little bit in its own little space. Okay, that should be in refinement. Uh, glass forge. Ooh, man, this thing's big. It's not germy up there, so that's good. Although it is full of CO2. Meh, CO2 is not a big a deal. Okay, refinement, glass forge... I can't remember whether the glass watch has any outputs. Maybe I should look at that. Hold the phone. Glass forge. Power, 1.2 kilowatts. Liquid output pipe. Oh yeah, it does produce liquid. That's for the actual glass though, I think. So the glass is going to come out at ridiculous temperatures, and I'm going to need a way to cool it. Could dump it in polluted water. And then the duplicates will just have to go down there and get it, which would be kind of germy. Not super thrilled with that idea. Uh, where else can I stick it? I mean, I guess I could, I could put it down here, but that would get things like, crazy hot if I did that. Frankly, having a convenient power source up here is really... Uh, you know what? I'm going to put this in a hole for now. i got to figure out where to put this thing that's actually going to make sense. If there was a cold biome nearby, that would make, that would make things a little bit easier. But I don't see one just yet. Hey, Brittany, welcome back. <laughs> I don't know if I'm good at the game. I'm just average at it. I played it so much now. Like, a lot of it just goes... I do on autopilot. <clears throat> right up until the point where uh, duplicates kind of die off on me. I still make I still make lots of simple mistakes. Plenty of opportunity to learn. They're doing a super slow job over here. Let's, um... Let's prioritize this. I'm gonna get my... Start to clean up some of that CO2. Uh, I was going to move in another one of these. What is going on? Insufficient algae. Oh, man. 
This reliance on algae is so bad. I don't... I really should not be in a position here where I'm reliant on algae at this point in the game. It's too busy mucking around with other things. You can use the ice maker to make a small pit of really cold water for the glass cube. Yeah, that actually, that's not a bad idea. Okay, so if we... If I do it up top here, though, I don't have a I don't have a good place to send it. That's the tricky part. If I have it up top, then it, it's really easy to get the power source for it. So in our refinement, this thing requires 1.2 kilowatts of power. So I'm going to need a heavy watt wire connection. Or if not heavy watt wire, then the uh, conductive wire. And I don't really want to refine a ton of metal to run a conductive wire from up here all the way down to the bottom. So that kind of leaves me with a space up top here. So I guess if we did... We can almost do like a little... Where's our germs? We can almost do like a little insulated basin here. Uh, hold on. Cancel this. Okay. We'll do... Insulation like so. And then I'm going to throw mesh tile on top of here. <laughs> and I'm going to trap a duplicate inside because that's exactly what happens. <laughs> we'll leave a spot for the duplicate to get in there. Oh, man, come on. It's not cooperating. There we go. We'll dig all this out. All this nasty CO2 we're going to get. Uh, and then I'll plan to put a little reservoir here for refinement. We'll grab our kiln. Oh, not our kiln. It's a glass forge I want. Man, this thing is just so big. I can't get it until I dig out the plants. Um, so I'll put the glass forge there. We'll put the ice maker like right next to it, and we'll try to let the uh, ice drop in here or something. I don't know. <coughs> Just build solar panels everywhere. Yeah, I mean, it takes a lot of glass, though. I gotta, I have to get the glass before we can get to the point of... Is someone starving? Um, before we get to the point of making solar panels, we need to make a bunch of glass. So we're going to get that set up. No, no, nobody's starving. There might be some hungry people. Everything's in good shape food-wise so far. It's going to be kind of a weird setup over here. <laughs> I confess... Dear God, I had to turn to my brightness. So bright. It was so bright, it was the man in white. What am I missing here? Insufficient iron ore. Huh. Are you kidding me? Alright. Let's uh let's do a little bit of uh, iron ore mephizing. Oh man, I figures. Okay, hold on. That is less than ideal. Okay, let's build a ladder one over, I guess. And I totally did it again, because that's how I roll. We got a double win down here. We got a bit of algae. A triple win, actually. We got some algae, we got some phosphorus. We got ourselves some iron. Uh, I'm going to cancel some of this here. There we go. Let's set a priority on that of a six. I'm going to get them to do this first for me. First ish. Heavy on the ish. Laying on the floor, we got your face wet with puppies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the puppies. I want to build the forge where the slicksters are. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Except my only concern is the power because I need to produce. I need to produce the power down there for them. So the reason I was thinking up top was only because the power is closely located. Man, I've got all kinds of polluted oxygen in here. Fortunately, it's not germy. I still haven't uncovered this thing. Show me the magic. Show me what we got up there. Okay, good. They're starting to dig that out. Good. Good, my little minions. Good. <laughs> it's Stewie. Yeah. Well, the guy said, the guy that made the comment, his little picture was Stewie, so made me think of it. Any idea how Cryptic's going to wrangle all the shine bugs? <laughs> what do you mean, wrangle them? I'm not going to wrangle them. These are free range shine bugs. Only the finest free range shine bugs are set up around these parts. There's just so many of them. 
All right. Skills. We have at least somebody, I think. Oh, yeah. Two people that don't have skills yet. So we can reverse our duplicate order so we can see them here. Um, Where'd they go? Sovereign Prax is still still going. There we go. Okay. Zara Zedicus. Uh, her skill set is around strength. So we want to do a whole bunch of carrying stuff with her. So we're going to do with uh, improved carrying supply. She's going to be like the carrying juggernaut. Uh, Still Snow is good with construction, athletics, learning, and strength. I have no idea where to put him. He doesn't, apparently does not want to do medical care. Just simply won't do it. Jess Stewart with Super Chat. Attack of the Shine Bugs. Ah! Thanks for Super Chat, Jess. Appreciate the support. Uh, where should I put Still Snow? Yeah, let's go tinkering, I guess. Proof carrying, proof tinkering. Sovereign Prax, we have, we have to wait still. And then we have another duplicate coming inbound. We have some other skills here we could spend too, but I don't know where to spend them just yet. So I'm not going to rush to spend those. It's not really a panic. <laughs> Basic cures. We might actually need that. Narcoleptic buff. Allergies. Oh, there's somebody with allergies finally. Duplicate sneeze uncontrollably when exposed to pollen and other irritants. Okay. I actually, I don't want this, but I actually just want to see the duplicate sneezing. <laughs> I know they sneeze when they're sick too, but we're gonna take Devon. Devon is probably not a good choice because you know it's a uh, it's one of those traits we'll actually have to do stuff with. Um, so do we have a Cerberus in this colony already? You know what? I'm gonna make this. Uh, let's take Devon. This duplicate is going to be what the randomize this duplicate? No, I don't want to do that. I want to change it. Give me the name. Give me. The, I. There we go. So this will just be a randomly named duplicate named Durgan 8D. Welcome to the colony, Durgan. Don't expect to survive. Is Rasputin's ghost still alive? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Who's starving and why? Richard is starving. Why are you starving? We have 89,000 kilocalories worth of food here. Call him Sneezy. <laughs> Am I going to be streaming Oni Thursday? I will not. Um, tomorrow is going to be my last stream this week. I have, uh, I'm have i having some surgery on Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to be out of commission while I'm recovering from that, unfortunately, for a couple days. Uh, so there won't be any streams or content coming up for me following that until probably sometime next week. I'm not entirely sure. Depends how well I bounce back. And then uh, we'll just sort of take it from there and see how it goes. He's gluten intolerant. Oh my gosh, we have like no oxygen. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in the other oxygen diffuser I meant to build and I forgot about. Oh, you know what? I have this power grid set up here and I completely forgot to sever it. Um, so we're going to need to break this down too. Go snap the wire. Now that we have proper separation here. They still haven't built that wire. <laughs> Insufficient iron ore. How do we not have more refined metal? I have 695 kilograms of refined metal. This thing does not need... Okay. Cancel this. Let's just give it the instructions to build it again in case there's just something wacky going on. Alright, there we go. Prioritize it at a 7. Let's get that built finally. It's like, go lord. All the dupes need sunglasses. Yeah. And in the latest update with Oxygen Not Included, they've added the eye doctor, so your duplicates can get cornea implants to replace all the damage done by the shine bugs. Luck with surgery. Hope it all turns out for you. I'll keep a sharp eye on the Discord for the next stream. Hope to see you soon. Thanks, Matthew. Appreciate that. Yeah, so I'll be streaming tonight, and then tomorrow night we're going to play some NO1800. And then Wednesday forward, it's going to be uh, a little quiet for me. Uh, but I'll, uh, I'll probably still be tweeting and stuff. You might see me on Discord there as well. I'm just going to have, like, this stuff jammed up my nose from the surgery, so I, I, I don't think that's going to make for very easy talking on this uh, microphone, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Might have a slightly messed up voice for a little bit. Slightly more messed up than anyone normal. Man, I really need to pay more attention to my oxygen. Insufficient iron ore. What have I got ore-wise? Copper, gold. All right, let's replace this stuff with gold. All the stuff that here that's not... Not working. We'll swap that out to gold. Uh, 
Okay, that'll give me everything I need down there. Theoretically, uh, and I really should consider producing some oxygen. Please, for all, all the love, all things holy, find a way to mute the NPCs that talk in Anoe 1000. They're so annoying. <laughs> well, last time we played the campaign mode, so that's a little bit different. Um, this next one, we're going to play the sandbox mode where you just sort of jump in and build. And you have an option there to either choose like more assistance or like less assistance. So, based on that, it'll give you more or less speech stuff. Why are you still starving? Richard! What is your issue? Where is he? What's his deal? Is it because he's sick with slime lung and he doesn't want to eat? Or... Is there some food here he actually doesn't like eating? And by food, I use... I mean, I use the term food extremely loosely. I mean, they all have omelets and stuff. What do I got here food-wise? Meal lice, omelets, muckroot. Yeah, you should be able to eat. I think maybe it's the slime lung stopping him. I don't know. That's weird. My new dupe doesn't have a table or a bed. Aw, poor new dupe. Poor new dupe. Uh, okay, well, let's give him... Uh, there's actually probably a few duplicates that don't have beds. We have 19, and we only have places for 15. <laughs> we have a few duplicates that are sleeping on the floor right now. Their stress isn't really a pain right now, though. I mean... We're doing all right. 11 sick people, though. Richard's on a hunger strike. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Jess. Yeah, he does seem to kind of be, seem to be on, a, on a hunger strike. He's like, the shine bugs are too cute. I can't eat them. I'm not going to do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Okay. How are we making it over here? <laughs> Super slowly. They're not even getting to the point where they can dig stuff. They, they have to hold their breath too long. Okay, so that algae is not going to be a good source. Instead, we'll dig in over here. Um, actually, we'll just throw a little ladder down here so I don't get stuck. As Lord knows, if they can get stuck, they will. Nice pocket up there. Tiny little bit there, but that's not enough to do anything with. This is why it is a good idea, folks, to move away from this dependence on algae sooner rather than later. I'm just incapable of following my own advice. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, let's, um... Yeah, kind of a big ladder. Alright, whatever, let's get in here. We'll dig our way into the cold biome. Give some duplicates some, uh... Hypothermia. Cool steam vent! Oh, that is amazing. Okay, perfect. I actually really need that. Where can I get this to store, though? I think I'm going to have to dig out some of this stuff. We're going to get a little germy. It's a good thing slime lug is not nearly as lethal as it used to be. So we'll just plan to do this. Um, we'll create a little base in here. I'm going to let it spill off this side, and we'll collect, the, collect it in, in over here. That'll be my method. The method to my madness. So I'm going to cancel that. Maybe we can analyze this while we're at it. It lasts for several hundred cycles just off the starting algae. Yeah, you can. I mean, yes and no. So I take a lot of duplicates. I'm at 19 duplicates. They breathe an awful lot more oxygen than if you stopped at, like, say, 8 or 10. So generally, I do need to get more supplemental oxygen sources. Like, I can't typically leave it too long or I start to run into, into problems. Um, so we'll do that. We do have to get that addressed, but it's not the end of the world. It just, uh, you know, it's not a deal. You still don't get it. Why aren't you getting? I must have missed something. All right, if a dupe is sick, he or she will start sneezing, so more or less will fail to eat, so adjusting their schedule might work. Oh, maybe. That's not, that's not a bad idea. I think he might have eaten now, though. Where's Richard? Oh, now Zara's the one. Zara, are you ill? She has slime lung. All right. 
You know what? Let's just adjust everybody's schedule. We have a lot of duplicates. Let's give them some more more break time. A little more downtime. More time for the eating of things. There you go. Everybody take a little extra break. Hopefully they'll actually make time to get food. As opposed to dying. Right above that, the last hundred cycles using terrariums nowadays. It's the change. The oxidizers are still algae hungry. Oh, I see. Well, what do they do? They change the cons the consumption amount for uh, terrariums? Because I've always just kind of avoided them. Gains ten percent in direct light. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> I'll just throw a little terrarium down here. We'll try him here. We'll try him there. Start off with two of them. The trouble is they have to tap the water out, and this thing is pretty much out of reach. It almost. They definitely have direct light <laughs> from all the shine bugs. Put a solar panel on the bottom of the base and glass floors to space. Well, it does. I don't think we should need uh, glass actually. I mean, not glass, but um, it does need space. Apparently, it will still work when it's not exposed to space. Um, the trick is we need glass. So I started to build something over here for our forge, and then I got distracted because that's what I do. This is how we call derpy playing. Um, so in here, I want to do my fancy... How dead are you? I can't even see your oxygen bar anymore. Uh, how did you... That is a skill right there. That, That's professional skill. Somebody go pull Alexis's head out of there before she ends up dead. Oh, she's not dying because she's got polluted oxygen around. That's weird. Oh, the head was missing entirely for a bit. That was creepy. Okay, let's try to do that with, like, a little bit of less head stuck in the thing. Just got here. Holy shine bugs. <laughs> hey, the taupe. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate the support. <laughs> yeah, we have a couple of them. Just a few. Keeping our colony well lit. Shine nymph eggs. 35 of them. <laughs> let's make some more omelets. Oh, I'm, I broke my egg cracker. Um, we're gonna put my egg cracker. I guess I'll put it down here. Until later, I'm gonna put some, some solar panels here eventually. I think I'm gonna have to. I want to put the critter feeders like down by the solar panels. That makes more sense because they're gonna be outside of the range of what I want the light to do. Yeah, I guess you can say the quality's really lit. Per curtain lures on either side of the solar panel, you get full illumination. Yeah, we need plastics first. Um, I can put the, the feeder there, that will help attract them, but in terms of like the lures, we need plastics for that. Everybody's getting sick. I have 12 sick duplicates now. It's a lot of slime blankets that I haven't really dug into the swamp biome yet. Is it just me or every time you need to accept terms of agreement, you read the entire thing? Uh, could be. Maybe. Thought light went through mesh tiles. It used to, but it doesn't seem to anymore. At least not for the shine bugs. And it's hard to tell because they're ab they're above and below it right now. But yeah, see here they're below this one, and the, sh the light's not really shining through. It could just be that they're not bright enough. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't it doesn't seem to have the same kind of pen. Oh look, we got Slickster. And we have oil. Ah, we can start making plastic soon. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, all three of them hatched. I don't have to feed them either. They just eat CO2, which is awesome. Uh, I am going to need to put some CO2 out there, though. Eventually. I'm going to 850 grams out there right now. Need to close the slickers in a stable for grooming. Uh, well... Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure how interested I am in them. Uh, to construct that. Someone break the floor. They even, they even sound cute. Yeah, they have plenty of CO2, so it should be good that way. Come on, somebody come break the ladder. <laughs> There's so many sick people. <laughs> We need a whole lot more of our cure. Uh, 
They need to be exposed to germs, but there's no immunity to go down. Yeah, so they have everybody has a chance to get sick now as soon as they're exposed to germs. I don't want to wait for this. I'm going to do it. Give me what I need. What I want. I just trapped somebody. <laughs> okay. Quickly, before they die. They don't have any air. Quick, there you go. Run for it. Oh, they're so dead. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Lexi, love. What are you doing? Well, I, maybe I should have powered that door. That she would have got through it fast enough to stay alive. <laughs> Mistakes are made. Duplicates died. Noob Slayer Dill with a super chat. How do you get on the shine bug level? Uh, I can just I'm work on getting through people that want to be in the colony. <laughs> Bear in mind, if you you might go the route that uh, Lexi Love just went. So you know, no guarantees of survival in this colony. Small bladder, loud sleeper, anemic. I don't have room for a loud sleeper right now, so let's just go ahead and we'll grab Liam. We don't even have a bedroom for all these people. <laughs> Hold the door. <laughs> oh, no, it's so bad. So bad. Uh, let's see. We already have a Richard. Do we have a Jess? Do we have a Jess Stewart in this colony? Durgan. Nope, no Jess. All right, we're gonna bring Jess. Jess Stewart can be our next duplicate. Uh, anemic. No, thank you. We'll go with small bladder. Oh, it's funny when you click on that; it gets all weird. Peppy wimp. <laughs> Peppy wimp. All right, this one will be Jess. Interest care. So maybe we'll put uh, we'll put Jess in the doctor slot. Maybe. We need a holder dupe. Holder, holder, holder. Wait, why did it get shoved in there? What, you? Oh, yeah, you're in here, Durgan. We've got a Durgan dupe. <laughs> what do you say we send Durgan to the farm? <laughs> Heard she likes it in the farm. What's the temperature down here? 44 degrees. These guys prefer... They're overcrowded. There's only... Th oh. Well, that's a thing. I guess I could let some CO2 out of here. Well... Actually, if we go... We'll go this way with our tile a little bit. We'll get a little bit of hydrogen in here. That'll give them a little more space and maybe they won't feel crowded. Uh, we're gonna have to dig this out too, I guess. Ooh, man, I hope they don't take, I hope they don't jump. Don't jump, guys! It's not a, it's, it's a long way down there. I don't want you going splat on me. Oh, they're sleeping. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute little guys? They're so awesome! Who do you need to have words with? I don't know what you're talking about, Durgan. <laughs> Basically, whenever you trap somebody, use priority to get them out. Uh, ooh, insufficient resources, algae. Bum, 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 ba -da, ba -da. Well, I mean, we're in good shape oxygen-wise for the moment, but I do need that algae. I do, I do. I ain't gonna tell you who. I'm going to increase the priority on that a little bit. They'll get some as they cut their way through there. How are we doing up here for our fanciness? I, I mean, I've got a lot of duplicates. You would think I would have the opportunity to segregate stuff a little more. I think I need to set up more builders. Who do we have wearing the builder hat? Improved construction. Um, you know what? I don't think I really have anybody wearing a builder hat right now. Nope, that's not true. Still snow is in construction. No, actually, they're tinkering. I don't have anybody. I'm building. Maybe that's why things are going so interestingly. You do like construction, so let's swap you from being a plumber into construction. All right. Good. Excellent. What have you got? Improved tinkering. Improved tinkering electrical engineering. Improved tinkering. Yeah, I didn't put anyone in construction. That would explain why they're being so slow about the building of things. 
All right, lessons learned. Uh, Brandon Martin is busy doing mining stuff. Uh, he's got one point to spend. I could put him in construction, too. I don't know if it's really worth it, though. Who else has got good construction skills? Construction 0, construction 1, construction 5. Lucas. Lucas, my friend, you need to go into construction. There we go. We've got a couple duplicates that are focused on that. That might help a little bit. You just want to launch a rocket? <laughs> I have launched rockets before. That's pretty much late game stuff. We have a lot of things to get set up before we can get to the point of going after rockets. Can I at least give you a hat? I can't. You, you gotta earn some experience first. Not any experience points. I can't. Since it's mostly CO2 down there near the slicksters, why not just open the door and the mechanized door? Uh, yeah, I had closed it off for a reason. I can't remember why. Oh, the heat. Because it's like 35 degrees on this side of things. 33 on this side. I guess, uh, uh whatever. All right, we'll just open the door. Open the door. Um, the CO2 can't get through there anyway. Oh, uh, you know, whatever. I built all this, but we'll get rid of it. I don't worry less about the temperature at the moment. We'll try to solve the temperature issues later. Uh, they left... Why is Lexi still on the ground? It's not like we don't have gravestones here. Let's go get... Put her on a gravestone. There we go. Get Lexi to her final rest. I don't have any friends at all, so don't get me telling you my... If I call you my friends here. Well, I don't really know you, Brent, but... I'm sure you're a friendly person. Mm -mm. Still don't see yourself. That's a lot of suffocating going on. Tokugan, you're in here somewhere. Uh, there you are. You're a research dude. You're a research person somewhere in the colony. Okay, we're losing, losing valuable CO2 here. I'm gonna get, uh... I'm gonna get that sealed in quickly. Yeah, you were there until you died. Hydrogen's loose in the colony, no! I mean, worst case scenario, it drifts all the way up to the top of the colony. It's not really a big deal. I have lots of space up top here I can float around in without causing issues. They barely started the research on this, but they got too many people focused doing other things right now. Oh my gosh. Stop with the suffocating already. <laughs> it's the trouble with making them work someplace that doesn't have a lot of error. <laughs> it's like a constant never-ending alarm. Please don't seal the, the slicker inside the block. That would be really bad. Why did you die? They can run across this thing as though it, even when it's open, as though it's still closed. Why did Alexis die? They should have been able to run back to get air. What's going on here? I know he suffocated, but he should have been able to go, go and get air. That makes no sense to me. Somebody makes some omelets. They need omelets. We must appease the people who are grieving with omelets. I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. Okay, I mean, I, I could see if it was blocked, they couldn't run back. But yeah, work was integrity to destroy. That's right. They were so focused on work, they couldn't let it go. Work them, literally work themselves to death. You don't see that too often, yeah. That's it, the grief omelets. That's what we're gonna make here. Uh, I let all that, you know what, a little bit of hydrogen here now too, and now it's gonna block the CO2 flow. <sighs> Mistakes are made. Okay, now I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna pump the CO2 in instead. Let's set up uh, a gas pump here. Throw a little ventilation in. Make sure these guys are well fed. 
I don't want them to suffer down here. Still overcrowded. Really? Really? Alright, fine. Take all this out. Let's let some more hydrogen out. We've already started. Might as well do a good job of it. Just hack it all out of there. <laughs> Oh, did they just run back and forth in a loop? I should have been paying more attention. I mean, I could hear the alert going off, but I just thought it was the normal workers running back to get air. Clearly, that was not the case. His cries went unheard. Hey, look, we only have eight sick duplicates now. They've actually gotten better. <laughs> a little bit. Don't waste time with the gas pump. Just dig upwards above the slickster's pit so the hydrogen goes up. Well, I mean, the trouble is with the... Yeah, I mean, that's an option, too. We could put, like, a little bit of a spot up here that I can kind of collect in. A little bit. Um, the trouble is that the CO2 the CO is not really strong enough here. 780 versus 85 grams. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll cancel this. We'll try the, we'll try the dig root. Just let the, the hydrogen go up a little bit. See if it gets clear enough. I'm not sure if it will or not, but we'll try. Nice person. I just stable the bed the bed bound so I can, can't leave it. What? If you say so. Constant state of perpetual suffocation. Pretty much. I mean, because they don't have any oxygen suits for them to wear down here. <laughs> yeah, but the alert's going off a lot now. Oh, our food's really dropping, too. Okay, I haven't played around with priorities in a while. And I feel like I probably should. Um, because people just aren't doing what I what kind of expect them to do. You focus on operating. You focus on arts. Uh, they used to have the wrench thing, but I guess they don't do that anymore. Uh, we need people focused on... Where's my building? Big supply, storage, build. There we go. Let's get some people focused on building. Oh, come on. Look with Sousa, focus on building. Like that. I guess we'll get you focused on ranching. I should have done this a while ago, but it used to be you could just do... Well, so, I, you know, I think it's one of the bigger things I miss with the, the new setup. Because you could just give them the job, and then that would auto-prioritize them to do that. Now, uh, we don't have that so much. Uh, let's see, farming. Let's get you guys prioritized for care. So we'll try to heal up our duplicates because they're not feeling so great right now. Brandon is big on digging, so let's do that. Zara, we have not really any good solid colors in anything right now for Zara. Still snow, we'll put him on focus on operating. Sovereign Prax does not have any skills yet. All right. <laughs> Research and tidying. He's a very, very tidy scientist. Okay. So that'll be the priorities for now. Oh, wait a minute. I think I actually missed uh, another researcher, right? Nope. Maybe one of our researchers died. I thought I had two of them. Apparently not. That would explain why research is going slower than I thought it should be. But they change how they get illness. Is it becoming too annoying? No, it's they get ill, but then so like I've had nine people sick for a while. It's not nearly as deadly as it used to be. Uh, see, every time that alarm goes off, now I'm gonna worry that I'm missing somebody who's actually suffocating. Yeah, you know, let's maybe do the smart thing here. We'll plug this door in. Let them get out. Of, let them get out of here a little quicker and easier. Here. Build this in so we can get that taken care of. Look at all the shine bug eggs. They've almost finished digging across here the way I told them to ages ago. Oh, there's a geyser. Chlorine vent. All right. The most useful geyser in the entire game. Geyser without pier down there. The chlorine geyser. Hooray. I didn't want, like, natural gas or more water or anything. Why would we want those things? 
I guess Slime Lug equals dupes run out of air before they get back to O2. I mean, it's possible. Maybe it makes them more winded. They don't move as quick. They, they poorly estimate how long it's going to take them to travel the distance. I have 40 shiny nymph eggs. I need to break more eggs. Somebody focus on cooking. Who's our cook? Boy, we only have one cook. All right. Uh, Durgan still has no experience points. Great. That's fabulous. Excellent. Uh, Brandon, we don't really need extra miners right now. So let's... What have you got going on cooking-wise? Let's change the sort order again. All right, Brandon. Athletics 5, digging 7, no cooking skill. I want to find somebody with a good good amount of cooking skill. Cooking 7? Oh, well, because she's our cook. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Cooking 1. Mighty McCheese. We're going to switch the order here. Mighty McCheese, no cooking skill. Come on. Expendable Doug is a cooking of one, but he's too—he's not expendable in his current role, so that won't work. <laughs> Summer Hage is cooking four. All right, congratulations! You're moving off to a cooking job for now. We don't really need the farming right now, anyway. Slumon does reduce their ability to hold their breath, hence they can't keep dropping off, especially food. Yeah. Yeah, so it's interesting. Like, I think um, we might have to just kind of tweak our gameplay just a tiny little bit to accommodate the, the way the illnesses work now. So, it used to be they had to run down their immunity from 100 to 0 before they actually got sick. But now, as soon as they're exposed to the germs, there's a chance they get sick. So, we're going to get ill a lot more often. Although, apparently, it's just not as devastating when they do get sick. So, kind of balances out, I guess, a little bit. Potentially. Oh, you know what? These guys are probably crowded in here because there's Drekos in here. Let's get some meat. Oh, yeah, that's right. You run. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Dreco sandwich. Might be a little might be a little on the woolly side. Start resting the ill, I guess. Well, I mean, I extended their breaks and stuff, but it's too hard to like go in and take eight of them out of rotation. Oh, my God. It was suffocating. I say that, but then they're gonna like suffocate and die. <laughs> so I'm up getting up on food a lot easier now too, so it can be better to store it in a chlorine room near the top of the base to avoid breath holding. Yeah, so when I look at germs and stuff, I mean there's not really there's a little bit of food poison germs in there. Oops. Man. That was weird. A little bit buggy. Uh lavatory's looking a little bit on the dirty side. But they washed their hands on the way out of there, so that's not really too big of an issue. This isn't even hooked up, so that's not really anything. I mean, there's not really any big... There's no big germ sources in our colony right now. I think they're just kind of like... They're getting exposed to it just a little bit. And that's... That's enough kind of thing. Ooh, we're in skill points. Our Seth. We have a dip... <laughs> recap with dupe side. Yeah, so there's uh, there's four of them now. Benjamin Brown was the first one, so he's got a place of honor down there. Uh, Coley Poo, Lexi Love, and then Alexis Alexi. Apparently we have a thing against Le people with Lexi in their name. No oxygen production. You're right. We might be waiting on algaes. No, they have algae. A little bit anyway. What's going on here? They're busy breaking eggs, but they're not delivering the oxygen. Okay, did I take someone out of the job of delivering things? I might have. Supplying. Uh. Yeah, it's nobody's priority. <laughs> Why would it be? Okay. Okay, we have a couple of people focused on supply now. Let's see how that goes. Ugh. Are you dead or not? Nope, you're still alive. You're still alive. 
Just up the, the life support a little. Yeah, well, we need to produce a little more oxygen, right? Oh my gosh. More duplicates. I don't even have rooms for half the ones I brought in here. Ooh, wheeze wart seed. This is absolutely the wrong decision to make, but we're going to take another duplicate. Uh, this one will be... The taupe. Bring in the taupe. Noodle arms, tryptophobia, tryptophobia. They won't dig. Well, that's okay. I'm not really worried about that. And a mouth breather. Well, we need the oxygen right now, so we're not getting the mouth breather. So this one could be the taupe. And they specialize in construction, which will come in handy, because it seems like I don't have people building enough things. Odor dupe. Odor. I should have taken the seed. That's actually what I should have taken. But we're not gonna, because we're gonna go with the crazy colony. We're taking all the stuff we shouldn't take. Keep pulling in duplicates, even though it's not the thing to do. Suffocating. Gosh, would you people stop suffocating already? What is wrong with you? Starvation. It's all these sick dupes they don't want to eat. I take the mouth breather and kill the colony. <laughs> Does putting on a hat take care of prioritizing mindset to farm, uh, but was changed to cook? I, I don't know. Um, probably doesn't. So, summer age. Oh, yeah, we don't need that. Even that out. Uh, increase your cooking. I regret, like, I, I kind of missed that whole thing where, like, you could just set it to auto prioritize. So now we we'll have to be, we'll have to pay more attention to how we're setting up our duplicates. And I guess if you had fewer of them, it wouldn't really be that, that big of a deal. But I just take so many. <laughs> like, I'm going to go around and individually identify what their task should be. Not so great. Oh, the plants are stifling. Fertilization. Uh oh, we had a dirt? Nope, I just don't have a farmer. Oh man, I see again, priorities. Priorities. All right, so we have uh, we have one rancher. Jeez. All right, Durgan, uh, tell me you can do farming. Strength eight, farming two. Good. Perfect. Durgan the farmer. Put your hat on. Go fertilize the plants. They need it. Uh, sovereign prax. <laughs> that sort did not help. Sovereign Brax, tinkering, athletics, ranching. Sure, we'll put you in farming also. Just Stuart and... Okay. Just Stuart's the only one now without a job and the taupe, but they're both brand new. Thank you, a farmer so you can die early. <laughs> That's right. It's all part of the plan. See a lot of new faces around here. Uh, maybe a couple of them. Maybe a couple. Yeah, the carbon filter working. Uh, yeah, I mean, the carbon filter isn't necessarily going to help with the oxygen supply. It will just decrease the amount of CO2 we have in the lower part of the colony. So the concentration is not that high. The trouble is just the oxygen level above has gotten too low. And so consequently, we're not pushing, uh, not pushing the CO2 down. Uh, I need to get my oxygen system running the way I normally do. And I think I'm going to build it like right here. I don't really have the don't really have the, uh, the good time amount to do this, but um, we're just gonna build it right here. So uh, this is how it'll be. Okay. Um, insulated tile through another door here. Airflow tiles. Actually, I need a double a double wide setup here already. I'm just going to consume a lot of water, which I don't have. But it is what it is. Um, wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Man. Can't even see anymore. I'm blind. So blind. Uh, okay, this can go here. I need this to be four wide. We're going to put a gas pump in the middle. Couple airlock doors in. Insulation up top side. Then we're gonna reproduce the same thing on the other side over here. This is gonna take a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let go a whole pile of hydrogen here doing this job. 
to delay that side. Oxygen, electrolyzer. Okay, and then we'll get them to dig all this out. Everything here that's not going to be built on. And then I'm going to have them build this corner block first. And that should stop the hydrogen from coming out. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Hey, Brothgar, how's it going? Yeah, it's a little shiny in here. <laughs> it's not so great from an oxygen perspective. I kind of let things slip a little bit while we were playing with the shine bugs. And building some other stuff. But yeah, we... Uh, I set up a grooming station early on. I think it was like cycle four or five. And then a feeder and just let it go. And now we've got like ridiculous amounts of shine bugs. <laughs> There's oxygen and CO2. Why not make more CO2 and breathe the second half? <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just get one of those fancy filter things in our lung system that will take care of all that sorting for us. No problem. This game's easy that way. <laughs> Stress testing the dupe's life expectancy, that's right. We've already had a few deaths tonight, unfortunately. One of which, I think, was due to illness because they couldn't run back out of the CO2 area quickly enough. And they kind of croaked. Oh, somebody just pooped a little pooped a little oil in the corner there, buddy. That's, that's not where that belongs. Hold on a second. I don't think I even need to build this. Let's save the time. As long as this... Oh, no, that's going to break. <laughs> that's going to break. We do need to build here. All right, they're happy, they're still wild, but they're going to get tamed, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's only cost four dupe lives. Poor Benjamin, though. He was the first one to go. I don't I don't remember what cycle he died on. I wish when he clicked on it would actually tell you what cycle they died on. Needless to say, though, he's, uh, he's not in the best of shape. Uh, let's crack some more Shime Nymph eggs. Let's get rid of 20 or so. Yeah, that'll work. A bunch, a bunch more of them hatched. So we got a new a new brood flying around. Oh, this... I kind of want to turn off the suffocation alarms. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, given they need the air and all, but I kind of want to... Get that dug out. I'm going to go salvage this stuff over here. I, I really need to get away from this... Uh, Get away from the algae. I should have built the oxygen system a long time ago. Okay, priority six. Let's focus on this for anyone who's doing building. Building and digging and things. Let them do that for a bit. At least the shinies are decent food. Yeah, they produce... I mean, with all the eggs we're producing, we have lots of opportunity for omelet. And that's a that's a plus. How's the new ice making machine work? Is it really good for deleting heat? Um, It's pretty good. I mean, it, it takes... Uh, you take the water and you, and you have to get it from the... From the pitcher pump, which this one's apparently, I guess, still technically touching the water. So they use the pitcher pump to fill it up, and they put it in the ice maker, and that produces a block of ice. Uh, it does a pretty good job, actually, of, of deleting the heat. It just requires duplicate effort to keep loading it, because you can't plug a, pump, a pipe into it. Dun, dun, dun. Grief, om grief omelets are the best omelets. <laughs> I just need to wait for them to build. I have a habit of giving them too many jobs. And even though I have 19 duplicates in here, I have a tendency to like overtask them with stuff. And then they spend too much time standing around and... Or uh, rather running around all the other jobs instead of doing the stuff that I really want. So I'm going to try and slow down a little bit. Give this event. Oh, I don't have anybody who can actually dig that? Really? How do we not have anyone with super hard digging skill? That seems unlikely. Brandon Martin, super hard digging. There we go. Jeez. If you put germy water in the ice machine, what comes out? Clean or germy? Uh, that's a good question, because the cold does kill off the germs. I haven't tested it yet, though. I think Brothgar was saying uh, in his in his quality he was going to try that. Did you get Brothgar? Did you get a chance to try that before uh, before your stream ended? And see whether it came out germy or not. <laughs> the suffocation pigs add background rhythm to the ambiance. 
Yeah, I know. The part of the problem is I have them working down here, right? And it's all lined down here. It's all CO2 down here. So even though they do have some oxygen up here, the pressure's not bad. I just, I'm sending them to all the places where there is no oxygen. You didn't get a chance to try it? Oh, okay. I mean, I've done it before using, like, I've, I've super-cooled hydrogen, uh, hydrogen gas, and then I've created a system that dripped water at the top and let it fall through the cold hydrogen, and it, it landed at the bottom as chunks of ice, and it was germ-free. But it's just, it's too hard to maintain. And then I, I created, like, a rail system to pull it out of there, but it would melt on the way out, so it didn't work. But it did get rid of the germs. It just was not exactly uh, what you would call efficient. <laughs> it's just sort of a novelty. I don't even have room down here for gas pumps. Yeah, we're good. We'll do a triple gas pump down there. If they ever get around to doing it. CO2 pump working. Uh, I don't have anything pumping CO2. Oh man, what have I got in here now? I've got chlorine in here. A little bit of CO2 and some chlorine down there. That's not great. Um, let's go ahead and... I'm going to need to create a way for the CO2 to get down on my little... My little dudes down here. Let's go like this. Oh, they're not going to be able to reach that. Cancel this. Don't build that. Dig it out instead. That will let me kind of create a little gap where I get the CO2 kind of flow in. Sneak it in down near the bottom. There's liquid dupe in the refrigerators. What? <laughs> Fox, use the farber method. Let those dupes cry themselves to death. <laughs> they don't die right away from the crying, though. They just sort of uh, they create a big mess, and then I gotta deal with it. Pumper, collect the dripping overflow from the bathroom shower system you make. Uh, the ice maker flavored ice yum. <laughs> don't you know they've always told you don't eat the yellow snow? You don't want to make the yellow snow. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, that old. I'm, I'm getting really tired of hearing that suffocation alarm. All right. Uh, we didn't... Ooh, they're almost done analyzing this thing. Steam, 21, uh, 2178 grams per second at 110 degrees Celsius. Erupts every 255 sec or 255 seconds every 465. And they haven't quite figured out the active period on it yet. Once I get this thing sealed off, that will be a good source of water eventually. It's going to take a bit, though. Stop the food shortage, starvation. Ooh, all the way down to 18,000. All right. Is nobody cooking the omelets? What's going on here? Omelets. I mean, we have 14,000 kilocalories worth of omelets. Where's my egg count here? Eggshells we have lots of. Where's my cooking ingredients? Raw eggs. Oh, no, 100 grams. Really? Trying to crack some more shine, nymphs. It's going to get cracking. We have a couple of chefs. Uh, I also need them to prioritize this. Because we really need the oxygen. <laughs> the whole breathing thing is becoming kind of important. See, the thing is, when you bring on this many duplicates, the more you let oxygen dip down, the harder it is to recover it. Pee in the fridge? Oh, man. You weren't kidding. All right. It actually might be vomit from a sick dupe or something down there. Put pee in the fridges. Uh, we should actually adjust our sleep schedules too. So we have a lot of people in this first sleep schedule and like nobody on the other ones. Uh, so let's move uh, Jess to schedule two. I don't think we had anybody that was a night owl, so we'll just make a mass exodus into the other shift to make sure we have good overlap for the bathroom. Uh, Shadow, I think, was. Yeah, Snorefest. They were there, our snorer. All right, we'll put Zedekus down there, too. Was it a dupe that peed in there? Or was it just them throwing up? I mean, it, it could have been pee, I guess. Come on, clean this up. It's germy in the food area.
That's bad. That's bad. A little bit of the germs. The yellow lollies. <laughs> That's not lemon. <laughs> They started to build down here, and then they got distracted, because I told them to do something else. Because that's what I do. Okay. Blossom seeds are more duplicates. Well, you know, when you're running out of oxygen, and you're low on food, and things aren't looking so great, you always bring in another duplicate. That will fix everything. So we're going to bring in our pacifist. Iron gut pacifist. Oh, actually, gastrophobia. They won't cook, but they have simple tastes. They're an early bird. Germ resistant. That might actually be handy. I'm going to take the pacifist. Uh, so this could be Noob Slayer Dill. Welcome to the colony. Thanks for the super chat. More dupes. More dupes. Because, well, you know, we don't have air or food, so duplicates must be required. <laughs> Somebody's going to starve to death soon. They're not even they're not even harvesting this stuff. Do I have anyone set as a farmer? Smittle Dog is a rancher. All right, show me the points. Who's got points to spend? Oh, that's weird. I sorted by experience. I thought I would have ex like sorted the points, but it doesn't. It must be like sorting their total experience amount. That's super weird. Not terribly helpful either. Okay, who do we have? We have one farmer. Uh... Somebody could sort by people that don't have a hat, but that's apparently not a thing. I have two farmers. All right. I guess it's all right. Three people that I gotta wait for the get experience points before we can do anything with them, though. Jorgen and Shadow Farmers, yeah. Just start eating the copper. <laughs> Incoming copper volcano. Look out! I really wanted to make glass tonight so we could set up the... Uh, Set up a solar power thing here for our shine bucks to shine on and get a little extra juice, but uh, I don't know that we're going to get a chance to do that. Research is going super slow, too. I need to go through and actually just, like, take a look at what people are doing skill-wise and split them up appropriately. Chlorine gas, hydrogen, there's no, uh, there's no CO2 down here right now, so this just turned into a hot mess. Where did that chlorine come from? I must have dug into a little pocket of it. You always flood the base with molten glass. <laughs> well, there's that too, and then we'd have glass everywhere. <laughs> I mean, whether you're scalded by glass or scalded by molten copper, I guess it's all the same in the end. A little spicy. Unsafe working conditions. Nobody tell the union. Nobody tell the union. We can't afford the union dues. Full of shine bugs, 2000 and dupe, a space odyssey. <laughs> Maybe we should call it a space oddity instead of a space odyssey. They need to take some solid vows or boons on your colony that you make yourself to make a game a bit more silly. <laughs> I mean, isn't it bad enough we take a ridiculous number of duplicates when we don't need them? I just want them to come down here and get this thing built. There's so much to do still, even after I get it started. I'm only gonna run two of the two of the oxygen pumps in here initially. Um, so we'll plan for this one to flow down and this one to flow down. I'm gonna switch these into oh great piping I don't have yet. That's awesome. Where's that research? I thought I did the research for that already. HVAC, there it is. Radiant piping. Work on that. I need a diff I need a second research dupe. Who's smirt? Who can we put in here who's smirt that can do some research? I thought I had two of them at one point, but I think I must have either changed somebody's job or led them astray into the grave kind of area. <laughs> Learning zero. Uh, we got two points of money with cheese. Learning three. That's not bad. Learning three on Noob Slayer Dill as well, but I can't give them a job just yet. Jess Stewart has learning zero, but they'll do digging. Dig, dig, dig. 
Who else we got? Cassandra. I need the cooking, so let's we'll leave them alone. Tinkering learning one. Brittany has learning zero. Dokugan's already on it. Brittany's our artist. That's not gonna work. And every time I sort, I lose track of what I was looking at, people wise. Shadow. Shadow on Alphabet says two learning. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Our Seth is learning four. Let's swap Seth. Congratulations, Seth. You can work on research. So we got two of them working on research. That'll speed that up a little bit. Especially like I can control what hat they wear. Yeah, that's handy, but it also means that like you have to kind of muck around with their job prioritization and stuff a lot more. So now that I switched their hat... I need to also go in here and change their prioritization up a little bit so they're focusing on the right skill. And I don't remember who I just swapped. <laughs> he hasn't changed hats yet. Oh, there we go. Arseth. There we go. So Arseth, we want to put him focused on research instead of building. So every time we move their hat, you've got to go and move their priority too. Sorry for practice with the super chat. Hope your surgery goes well and fast recovery. I'm gonna do a double story house, so excited. Nice. Thanks, Prax. Appreciate the super chat. Thank you for the well wishes. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's like a day surgery thing, so it's not really that big of a deal. It's just I might not be talking very well for a bit because my nose will be all messed up. Man, we're all out of food. Uh, I gotta do something I don't want to and actually make. Why is nobody harvesting all of this food that's here? There is a, a veritable cornucopia of food right here. And nobody's harvesting it. Because nobody's prioritized for farm, because that's how smart I am. Okay, let's... See, this is the thing. Like, it used to be you could just check off the box and they would prioritize based on the job you gave them. But now you've actually got to go and give them the priority. Which requires me to think more. And you know what happens when I think. Stuff gets broken. Duplicates die. Duplicates die. Go and harvest. I thought they would all harvest according to like the necessity for food, but apparently they don't feel that way. Water pumps out of water. Oh, it is now too. You're right. Um, I'm gonna relocate the pitcher pump. Plumbing pitcher pump. We'll stick it in here. I thought you could reverse it, but I guess you can't. So we'll stick it right there. So we can go do that. We'll deconstruct this. Uh, actually, no, hold on. Don't deconstruct that just yet. Just say, well, what are you doing? What the? There. Mop this up. Get some bottled water. I'm going to set these doors to open so people stop wasting time for the doors to open. I'm going to open it out. Guessing 10 to 20 seconds before this burns down. No, it's fine. I mean, worst case scenario, some duplicates will start to die, and that will free up resources for the other duplicates to live. It never really goes, like, fully in the toilet, unless you just completely run out of oxygen. Ooh, like that. <laughs> um, let's just uh, speed up the digging over here. Yeah. <laughs> Can't dirt burn down without any oxygen. Yeah, I guess that's a thing, too, I guess. Right, was faith in CF skills. Um, nope, he's just a super realist. <laughs> Oxygen has gotten a little thin. I mean, we do have. Uh, well, that was running. This one's running. <laughs> oh, this is this is the sign of a mismanaged colony right here. Oh my gosh, all these things are dying. Fertilization, atmosphere's gotten too low. Plants are stifling. We only have 900. Oh yeah, this is all gonna die. They're all gonna die. They're all gonna die, man. Get food. Get the foods. Get the oxygens. They're so close to getting to where the uh, getting to where this stuff is down here too. Check Discord in 10 minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pour the molten copper. 
Poor, poor, sad duplicants. We had so many shine bugs, and actually, some of them I think have died off. The left oxidizer has never worked. What, this one? No, it was on before. They just, they're just not exactly in a rush to give it algae because they don't have any right now. I should have built this sooner. Secret hoping this all collapsed in spectacular many is so many. <laughs> that's so many of my colonies out. Yeah, it's not. Uh, I don't know how spectacular it's going to be, but we're uh, we're just about to die here. Oxygen pressure is getting lower and lower. These stupid alerts are getting louder and louder. They're at the point where they're actually reaching some of the algae, though, so we, we'll, we'll start to produce some O2 again. And that's a question of whether they starve to death. Because with all these plants... Oh, there we go. People can die. Starve to death. One down. Brandon down. Brandon down. <laughs> I think you'll need to snap your colony to make it. Be left with a graveyard lit up by shine bugs. Yeah, it'll be like a, it'll be like corpses laying everywhere and the shine bugs flying all over, just having a glorious time. <laughs> the witching hours upon us. Everyone's gonna die. This, they're all gonna starve to death. Dun dun dun. That was my that was my fault for not building oxygen set up sooner. Who was that? That was this guy, Brandon Martin. Brandon Martin. Sorry, Brandon. As I've always said when people join my colony, there is never, never any guarantee of survival. You Benjamin Company. <laughs> Thanos snap before cycle 75. <laughs> Half the colony dies off. Boom. We could, I mean, we could just send them all through a door into a space that has no oxygen and allow the door only to move one way. <laughs> Be like, well, see you guys. <laughs> Brandon's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> uh, we 86, Brandon. Sorry, Brandon. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Water. Yo, it's funny. I didn't actually leave space to set up my power system over here. So this one will have to be different. I'm going to need... Hydrogen generator. And a gold... I don't have room for batteries the way I normally do either. This whole thing is not set up at all the way I normally like it. Where am I going to put it? I built all this here and I actually don't really even need it now. Break it all. I want the space back. I need it. I need it for oxygen production. I'm not worried about the CO2. I'm worried about the oxygen. <laughs> oh, they're so dead. They're all gonna starve because they don't have plants. This colony's dead. Here we're saying, oh no, they'll recover. It'll be fine. We might lose half of them, but it'll save the resources. But nope, they don't have resources now. They're just gonna—they're all gonna croak. Dude's just so old. They'll lose a fight against the stone hatch. Chlorine pocket by the printer. I mean, there could be. The chlorine got it mingled in a little bit with the CO2, so it's kind of spreading out a tiny bit. Heat up the kettle of copper, boys. Man, it's been a long time since we've had a colony fail this early, I think. Skill points earned. Someone say molten glass? <laughs> for whom the bell dings? Just burn it all. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be away for a little bit. Maybe we'll just... Uh, it's We're coming up on that midnight hour. This is... Oh, there we go. Duplicants died. Duplicants died. Uh, options. Unlock sandbox mode. Enable sandbox mode. Welcome to the infinite vomit colony. Otherwise known as... Hey, where's my sandbox? There we go. Blue, fill button. Uh, let's see. What do we want to fill with today? I don't want water. Water is just not spectacular enough. We need... Let's change this over to, like, liquids, magma. We could go magma. No, you know what? Molten glass. I kind of like the idea of the molten glass at slightly hot temperatures. Save first. Or are you banning... Oh, no, I'm banning this colony. <laughs> 
This one's going down the tubes. We uh, I sort of mismanaged the oxygen production. I didn't move out of algae early enough. And then with the number of duplicates that I bring in, the combination of stifled food supply and insufficient oxygen for the duplicates is pretty much going to nuke them. So let's do it in good measure. Molten glass laden with food poisoning. Not that it matters because, you know, it's going to be like... What's this slider for? I can't even tell. Oh, that's the, that's the quantity. 400 kilograms. Uh, we want to go with... Should we use the fill or should we do with like a like a brush? Let's see how the molten glass spreads. <laughs> molten glass. Alright, we'll start off first by getting rid of some plant life. Oh my gosh, the molten glass is red hot. Take that, duplicates. Burn! You'll all burn! Eat molten glass! You're all hungry. Have some glass. <laughs> oh, it's actually burning the blocks up. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot enough it actually melted the blocks. <laughs> take that, duplicates. No, the do vanity. Oh, take that, duplicates. You can't get away. You can't hide down here. Oh, we got some steam and stuff. Boom, boom. Where are, where are there still five duplicates alive in here? That's insane. Where are they? Oh. <laughs> ah. They're all stacked down here. Oh, there they go. Two left. Two left. Squish them. Squish them good. There we go. One left. Hooray, we won. That's how we win the game. <laughs> Quality lost. Well, there might have been some mismanagement there with oxygen and food and stuff. So I'm going to say that was all me. Uh, even before we got to the point of getting into uh, sandbox mode and making a hot mess out of all of our poor little duplicates' lives. Still, that was fun. Uh, there are a few things that they've changed up in the uh, in the game. Actually, even mid-colony, uh, mid they swapped some stuff around in terms of like some art assets and stuff. Adding in some new germs and things. But that was fun. Uh, I am going to start to do Colony, as I always do. This is going to be in the core part of the game. I think it's set in one day, which is like tomorrow, which is kind of weird, because normally they update on a Thursday. But So we'll see. Maybe it'll be in there tomorrow. Maybe it'll be Thursday. But nonetheless, uh, you can find that in the base game. We've been playing in the beta branch, so we'll see what's in there. And then they're going to start working, I think, on the 1.0 release, which is supposed to have like some new biomes and new critters and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. We should have a lot of fun to play. Uh, if you don't currently subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Come back and check out another stream. Uh, tomorrow night we're going to be playing Anno 1800. That'll be at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, there is no molten glass in that game, so I can't uh, I can't just melt down my colony when it goes poorly. Uh, but thanks everyone for hanging out tonight. Appreciate all the super chats, and thank you as always for the support. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.